In this lesson, we're going to update our mini menu here to display as we want it to on a small site. So I've, up, uh, I've zoomed it in so that we've got our display menu here showing up. And I'm going to just, I'm going to do a display none. So update that to display none when it's large, but whenever we zoom in, then I actually want to display that mini menu. So let's go into here and display block so that this one now is going to show up. And one of the things that I want to do is I actually want to move this one over to here. And the reason being is because the way that I want it presented, I want it floating over to the right hand side when, uh, whenever it's available here. Uh, so I'm going to make some adjustments within the CSS and I also want the menu to present uh, horizontally or vertically instead of horizontally. So let's make those updates within our code here. So just like what we did with the containers where we updated the floats, we're going to update the floats on the nav bar first and we're going to do a float of none. Give it a width of 100% and also Let's clear out both because we don't want any of the floats uh, still sitting there, so we're going to clear out both. So let's save that and see what this is going to look like. So not uh, so now it's just it's moved it down there. It's taking up the full available width. Uh, so let's make some additional updates to navbar and the list items. So we need to make those back into display blocks instead of. So let's do a display block here so that it comes back horizontally. Uh, so this was something that we had changed originally. I'm going to get rid of all the margins as well. And I want to pull the text over to the, the left hand side. So text align left so that this is the menu that we want to present whenever this gets clicked. And we're going to do, take care of that within JavaScript where we're going to toggle what's visible and what's not visible. Uh, so what's left now is to update this mini menu, uh, this clickable icon here, and maybe float that one over to the left. So mini menu we called it, and here's where we're going to do a float left. And this time it slowly take up 20%. And also let's update this to text align and we're going to align the text over to the right hand side so that the menu is always sitting over there right flush to the right hand side. So what's the last thing that we need to do? We still need to update that logo area to take up the rest of that 80%. Uh, so just as uh, the mini menu shrinks down, let's update logo and let's give logo a width of the remaining 80% because it's going to be on a smaller screen and we're going to need some additional space in. So let's check this out now. So now whenever we shrink it down, whenever we expand it, we get a regular menu. But when we shrink it down, we get this menu. But this nav bar is still visible. So what we want to do is we want to display, display none of it to just hide it from view. So I want to style it before we actually uh, add in the JavaScript. Uh, so what's left now is just to make this clickable and when we click it we want to just uh, actually display the nav bar in a block. So that's coming up in the next lesson and we're going to utilize some JavaScript for that.